What is going on YouTube? It is Brick Revolution here with the Haunted House. We've seen it last week on Hall in the Ball and as well as everywhere else on the internet. And today we have the official announcement, so link down below to websites that have some information I use for this video. We will notice the box art is more dark and spooky and it's 18 plus. This set is 18 plus. So over on the Brick Fan they have the write-up I got. They said the new Lego Haunted House designed for those aged 18 plus will be the first set from the Lego Fairground Collection to feature the new stylish packaging designed to reflect the sophisticated nature of the creative products. All new products in the Lego's group ranges that appeal to adults will now feature the sleek, minimalistic new design across related packaging, build instructions, exclusive content, and in-store and online store design. Let me know what you think of that down below. So they're changing the box art to try to appeal to the more adult audience, I guess, if they feel the, the set is for the adult fan they're trying to target. So let me know what you think of that down below. Let's hop into the set. So this comes out June 1st, but for LEGO VIP members, you can pick this up on May 15th. The price in the US is $250. From the exterior, I think this set looks more like a church than a haunted house, but I do like the way it looks. Now, the ride part of it is in that main steeple. So that steeple will have a crankshaft, which will carry up the minifigure drop platform, and then it'll drop to the bottom. Thus, the ride. It is called Manor Von Buren, and this is a plethora of throwbacks to the Adventurer's theme. So we can see on the inside, it does open up like that dollhouse play style we did get with some previous sets. So that middle steeple is where the main ride is. So the minifigures will go up to the top there with some crankshaft, and they will drop down. So it's kind of, you can't really, I don't, I don't know if you can use it closed yet or not, but to me, the fairground ride, every other fairground ride we've gotten is a standalone ride where you don't need to move it around to have it function. This one looks like we have to open it up possibly to have it function. Let's take a look at the minifigs real quick. So the minifigs are definitely our city fairground minifigs. We have this figure with the scared face, this figure with the scared face. So that's two minifigures with a scared face. We got this guy over here with a cool torso, I think. I like that torso. He's rocking some side burns. We get this female character over here with a cool jacket. Isn't Newberry High? Isn't that a hidden side? I can't remember. And then this guy in the wheelchair is pretty scared. So that's one, two, three, four, five minifigs so far. Oh, wait, there's number six, the fairground attendant guy. He's all over Lego City. I'm pretty sure that torso is in Cafe Corner. Then we get a ghoul, which is not scary at all, in my opinion. Come on, the smiley face. And then a second ghoul with another smiley face. What is this? Come on. It's supposed to be a scary ride. We want some scary ghouls. And then we get the skeleton with the smile. Now we have the throwback to the Adventurers. They're, they're all in there, but here's Varen Von Buren right there. That lights up. That's pretty cool. Here's the model on a cool artsy-fartsy background desk. They, they did a lot of these shots with the Lego. Up in the right-hand corner, you can see definitely the throwback to the Adventurers theme over there. You got the Sphinx set. You got the Orient Express set. Another Adventurers Desert set everywhere. Back to the model. It's a fantastic model. Let me know what you think down below in the comments. And again, thank you for watching. As always, bye now.